As I review more and more hotels here in Hawaii, with the majority of them being in Waikiki, I continue to hear about how people really love the Ko'olina area. So I wanna spend a little bit more time in this area and find out if it's really all it's cracked up to be. So today I'm gonna to be spending one night at the Marriott Ko'olina Beach Club and let's see what all the hype is about. Let's take a look. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm heading up to the Marriott Colina. We'll see if the early check-in gods smile down upon me. If not, then we'll cruise the property and I'll get some great shots for you. I always come early when I'm reviewing a property here in Hawaii just because I got to get all the video and all the shots and I like to get the pools before everybody shows up. So today, as you can tell, is an absolutely gorgeous day in Hawaii. It's sunny. That's Monday, so it's a little bit quiet. So let's go to the check-in and let's see if uh, they let me check in. We'll head right to the room. If not, then we'll uh, get some property shots. We'll check out the pools, some of the restaurants and everything else here at the Marriott Koalina Beach Club. All right, let's see what happens. Located on the west side of Oahu in the Koalina area, this Marriott is part of the Marriott Vacation Club, but can be booked as a hotel. With around 550 studio, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom villas, this property is spread out over three towers, Hale Moana, Hale Kona, and Hale Naia. Immediately upon entering the property, you're met with waterfalls, flowers, and just a wonderfully landscaped area. The drive up that short hill that I was just walking on is absolutely beautiful any time of day. When you get to the top, there in the center of the roundabout is a beautiful tree offering shade and it is encircled with flowers. As you walk down the hall, you immediately realize that you are up about uh, two floors from the ground floor and the views you're going to be getting from the lobby are just incredible. There's a beautiful outrigger canoe there in the lobby. It's spacious, it's open, it's well designed. There is an enterprise rent-a-car station in here, a whole bunch of concierge desks. The openness just allows the breeze to come through. You really do feel like you're on vacation checking in. So no joy with the seven hour early check-in. I wasn't expecting it. As a matter of fact, this is a Marriott vacation club. So there's no early check-in or late checkout privileges, no matter what kind of status you have with Marriott. I'd encourage you to make sure your bathing suit, your hat and your suntan lotion are ready to go. Leave your bags with the bell desk Head on down to the pools and just relax, chill out, get a swim, wash off all that jet lag from your trip, and when your room's ready, then head on up. So, with that said, let's go check out the pools here at the Marriott Koalina Beach Club. So there's three pools on property here. You've got the Lagoon Pool, the Reflection Pool, and the Naya. The Naya is the Hawaiian word for dolphin. I wanna show you each one of those pools in addition, there's five whirlpools on property, so I'm gonna try and hunt all those down, those down and show you each and every one of them. Let's go find them. First up is the Lagoon Pool. This is a really fun pool for the young kids. You can see they brought in some sands. They got a nice sandy bottom. You can just walk right in as if you were at the beach. It's very, very shallow here. You got a couple of little fountains going on. There is a whirlpool area uh, near this little lagoon area as well. Lots of seating. On the other end of the Lagoon Pool, there's a place for little bigger kids. They got a volleyball, a basketball hoop and stuff. So really a fun place the lagoon pool is pretty centralized right between the moana and kona towers it's also right next to the fitness center so the reflection pool is the quiet please pool yeah no screaming no yelling and as big as this property is there are quite a few kids here this pool this reflection pool was beautiful they have a little island kind of in the middle there that you can kind of wade out to and then it gets a little bit more shallow you're also right next to longboard so you can get your cocktails i did notice of all the pools this was the one where the seats filled up the earliest or where i actually saw people coming down and dropping towels at the earliest time of day so it was quite Quite popular with the adults definitely check this one out the reflection pool 
The third pool is the Naya pool. This one is closest to the ocean. It's loaded with features. There's slides, there are waterfalls, there are sections in the pool that you can only get to if you get in the water first, and then you can access the steps that go to a different level. They have some active areas, and they also had some kind of waiting areas where you can kind of move through the pool. It was very, very interesting. I thought it was laid out great. Several whirlpools with this one. There's also the beach hut nearby, so if you have inflatables, just take it over there. They have a machine, and they'll pump that thing up in seconds, no problem. Definitely the team pool, the active pool, and a great place to lounge, especially if you're going to come later in the afternoon because that bottom area has direct views of the beach, and you can take in the sunset, the Naya pool. The one thing I was really impressed with was the number of whirlpools on property. I think I said five earlier. It's actually seven. So let's see if I found them all. That was number one. This is number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and number seven. So the early check-in gods didn't smile on me with a seven hour early check-in, but I did get in at 145. So I'll take it. Uh, Check-in normally is at four o'clock. I'm in the Moana Tower and I'm in room 2221. So on the second floor, pretty low. That's what happens when you redeem points and free certificates at places like this. They're trying to make sure that they capture all their dollars, but I'll take it. Uh, didn't cost me anything but the fees. Let's go check out the room. I was in the Hale Moana Tower room 20221. I'm not even gonna show you the view from the room because I think you all know what a parking lot looks like. The one thing I really loved about the room was walking into a nice, cool 66 degrees. Everything was immaculately clean in the room, so I was very happy with that. I've been into rooms where they're kind of warm or humid, and I like a nice cold room when I first I'll walk in. Everything worked fine in the room. There was nothing broken or damaged. It was very large and nice. I'm pretty sure that was a king size bed. So plenty of room there and everything just seemed to be pretty well organized and laid out. The couch was a pull out one. So if you have extras, yeah, you could sleep one or two on there depending on their size. And there was also some storage in this little footrest where you could put some stuff. Take a look at that, that lamp that's off by the bed. I think I flipped that switch like 15 times trying to figure out if it would work or not until I saw the switch on the wall. Yeah, kind of embarrassing, but oh well. This is the little kitchenette that comes with this category room, the studio room. If you're getting a one bedroom, two bedroom, or three bedroom villa, it's a full size kitchen. The kitchenette came with a hot water pot, a coffee pot, and you also have some glasses, some mugs, some plates, etc. There's a little mini microwave down uh, in the cupboard there, and below there's a rice cooker and a toaster. There was also an ice bucket and some towels. Some basic cleaning supplies are in there and a little mini fridge that also had a freezer section. Right next to the kitchenette, there was a quite large closet that had laundry baskets and all the linens for the pullout bed I showed you earlier. The bathroom was very clean, basic, simple. Everything worked just like it should. It was a full-size shower with a full-size tub. Now that I was settled in, I got the munchies. It was a little too early for lunch, so you know what that meant. All right, I wanna get some snacks for the room, so we're gonna head down to the marketplace. It has all kinds of things, drinks, snacks, all the things I talked about. So we'll head down there, I'll take you on a quick little tour and I'll show you all the things that you can get for your room. All right, let's check it out. The marketplace is on the ground floor. It's located right next to the entrance of Longies. And they have just about everything in here. All the coffee varieties you could want. I believe they serve Starbucks here. So come down early, get what you need. They had tons of snacks from cookies to beach jerky to all the candies that you could possibly want. This place was loaded. I want to make a note though is that I would shop here only for things that you forgot to bring. Everything was quite pricey as you would expect it to be because it's contained within the resort itself. But as far as you know, if you're price conscious or worried about saving money, I would definitely stop at Costco or a local grocery store before visiting or checking in. I did find some limes and lemons here, fresh fruits, which was kind of unusual. 
Of course, it was probably related to this next section that I found. There's also a lot of pre-made stuff, stuff ready to go like musubis and sandwiches. So if you're heading out to the beach, we're gonna cruise some of the other lagoons in Ko'olina. This would be a great spot to grab something. They also had baked goods. I did order an acai bowl. It was delicious. It was fresh fruits. There was macadamia nuts on it. I haven't had too many acai bowls with macadamia nuts on it. So some fresh fruits, a great way to start my day. Towards the end of the day, as evening started to set in, all of the barbecue pits that you'll find throughout the property start to fill up. This one in particular has an amazing view of the lagoon so you can watch the sunset while barbecuing, having a cold drink. Wow, it doesn't get better than that. They were all very clean when I walked around during the day and inspected them. They had their utensils were wrapped in bags. So they were just ready to go. If you're planning on barbecuing, this is a great property with great views. I would definitely head down early into this section because this one was particularly very busy. In addition to the barbecue pits, there were the fire pits. I know I saw two of them. These were also very popular once the sun started to set. Beautiful views through the coconut trees, across the lagoon to the sunset. One of the things that the west side of Oahu is definitely known for. Again, I would head down early if you want a spot at the fire pit. Otherwise, there were lots of spots that you could go to to get a direct view without feeling crowded or on top of anyone. Just a beautiful way to end your day. So I'm up early in the morning to get all those pool shots that I promised you guys and I found out that there's actually I think more whirlpools than is on the map. So I had dinner last night at Longboards and it was classic bar food, nothing to write home about. I would uh, use it for a good time. They had good music, live music there, great place to watch the sunset uh, but not a culinary adventure by any means. So. Yeah, I had my coffee, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna get some more shots and hopefully get you all that info you guys want about this uh, pretty cool place. All right, let's get around. and the loco moco that I had. So first off, the service that I had there, I had a server named Ashley, and she greeted me with just a warm aloha and a good morning. That's exactly who you want every morning when you're on vacation, uh, for sure. So the service was excellent. And the loco moco itself, scrambled, perfect eggs, perfect rice, but the patty and the gravy were just not up to par. It was good, but it wasn't great. There's several other places that have much better local mocos, and trust me, I know my local mocos for sure. So yeah, Longy's definitely a wonderful place for uh, good service. The bar was already cranking at uh, 8.30 a.m., so people on vacation, so check it out if you get a chance. So one of the differences I talk about between Ko'olina and Waikiki is definitely the crowds. So this is the end of May right now. It's not peak season, but it is pretty busy. And I gotta say, the lagoon out here, although it's empty at 6.50 in the morning, it was pretty empty all day yesterday. I never really got completely full. Now the Ko'olina is located further down. It's not near the Four Seasons or the Aulani. So, there is actually an empty lot 
uh, next to them in addition to the other two towers for the vacation club. So if that's important to you, you know, you want to have access to the beach all day, um, definitely consider that. If you kind of come out here, I'll give you guys a quick peek. So yeah, it's 6.45 in the morning <laughs> on a Tuesday and most of the uh, cabanas and chairs are still open and available. I know in Waikiki, people get going real early down there. When I did cruise the pools uh, this morning to get those shots, I did see a couple of people had already put um, towels down at 6.45, but it wasn't even close. When I did the Sheraton Waikiki for that adult infinity pool, there was a line for those chairs. It's a little bit different feel uh, for sure. So I'm wrapping up my stay here at the Marriott Colina, and I wanted to share some thoughts with you <clears throat> about Colina in general and also the hotel. So definitely Colina is a lot quieter than Waikiki. Looking to really get away from it all. This is probably one of the best spots outside of maybe Turtle Bay on the North Shore for the quietest resort spots on Oahu itself. I really did miss the energy though of Waikiki, the dozens of awesome dining options, all the activities, everything that's going on. So it's really a choice that you gotta make based on the type of vacation that you want. I think it's great that there's options for sure. So consider that when you're looking at Koalina. As far as the Marriott Koalina Beach Club, the hotel itself, I thought it was pretty wide open. Nice, seemed to be well maintained every morning. Everybody was cranking away, keeping things up to par. Obviously, I had the most basic of basic rooms. So if I can be happy with an extremely basic room, I think a one bedroom, two bedroom, or a three bedroom villa obviously would be even better. I do think that if you're gonna come out here with family and you're considering cost, definitely make a stop at either Costco or get the Instacart app and have it delivered to you because the prices of the food inside the marketplace are just astronomically crazy. I would definitely bypass on that. I had great service, not only at the front desk, but the uh, bell, bell desk as well, and the restaurants. So overall, a great stay. I would definitely recommend this to friends and family who are coming out uh, to Hawaii. I'd love to hear comments from you guys if you've stayed here, what your experience has been, and just, you know, whether you'd come back or not. Really enjoyed making this video for you guys, and I'll see you in the lobby.